Today I'm going to show you how you can make a photo black and white. And you might think, well, why would you show that? That's super easy. I could just use Instagram filter, for instance, but that's not how you can control your black and white. So if you're wondering why would you need to make your photos black and white? Well, black and white photos feel more emotive. Black and white photos are more dramatic than colorful photos. And neurobiologist has proven that rich black colors are more attractive to us than just normal photos, right? So let's get into this video. I'm gonna show you exactly how you can get the best black and white photo from your colorful photos. Back into Photoshop. If you want to follow along with the same photo, you can find the link in the description of the video there you can download it. All right, so first of all, let's go down here and add a black and white filter. Now you can see this automatically selects the black and white photo from your photo. So what you could do here is you can change these values. So sometimes you can also go through these here, through these filters and pick the best one. But I would like to keep it at default and then change these settings manually. That way you can really control this yourself. Now, if you have a photo of a person, you will probably have to move these sliders around for the skin tones, like the reds and the yellows, and make sure it's not gonna get too dark because the next step is we're gonna make it darker. So first of all, let's try to find some nice color tones for this. I don't have much green in this image, so this one doesn't do much. Same goes for the cyan, a little bit of cyan here. That's why it's kind of glowing up when I move this to the right. So I wanna make sure this is slightly lighter. So make sure you don't make it too dark first, and then we go to the next step when we make it darker and more kind of cinematic feeling. So let's even increase this like that. So this is fine, I'm gonna leave it like this. Now the next step is to add a curves adjustment layer. So right on top of that, we will add a curves adjustment layer. And here you can see we can select some tones. So when I click on this icon, I wanna make sure I select the white tone. So I'm gonna search for the most kind of whitish area probably somewhere here on its fur and you can see it starts to make it lighter. The same goes for the black. I'm gonna select the black one and then I'm gonna pick a dark spot like that. Can even move it slightly to the right to find a nice area. And now you can see it looks a lot better already. Now, the next step is to create a new layer and press Ctrl Alt Shift E or Command Alt Shift E on Mac. And then the only thing I change here is to move it to soft light or overlay. This depends on your photo. I think for this photo, soft light works better. And let's drop the opacity here because I feel like it's getting a bit too dark now. Just like that. And now we can compare this. Like, let's put this in a folder. And this was what we had before. And now we have this. If you want to have it a bit more creative, you can also add a color balance to this. It's going to get a bit different color, but I like this effect. So when you add a color balance, keep it the mid tone selected and move this one slightly to the right to add a little bit of blue to your photo. And that way you get a little bit kind of extra effect. Don't go too much because you can see it's getting too bluish. It's just a little touch of blue to a photo. Like we have in dark areas, we have a bit more blue. There's one more thing that you can do to give your photo a feeling like it's really shot at night. And that is to create a new layer on top of everything. Press Ctrl Alt Shift E or Command Alt Shift E and then go to filter, noise, add noise. And with noise, you get this really cinematic kind of night feeling. Don't go too much with this, just do it slightly if you like this. Usually photographers would like to remove noise, but in this case, you could add noise to make it look more kind of cinematic nighttime feeling, just like this. And that way we get this really nice kind of effect to a photo. So that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching this video. If you want to learn more about photo editing or wildlife photo editing, check out my courses or maybe check out one of my other videos. Until then, catch you on the next one.